Hello everyone and welcome to another short video on FamilySearch.org. Today we're going to take a look at a feature of FamilySearch that possibly you are well aware of or possibly you have never looked at in your entire life. So let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and go to FamilySearch.org. I have the tab open right here. Notice that I am signed in and I'm using this little blue highlighter so it's easier to follow the mouse. We're going to talk about the Help tab, which is right here. Nice little feature, little small on the top right hand side with this drop down arrow. Let's take a look and see what is hiding under this gem of a research, research resource tool. Go ahead and click on the down arrow and you can ask a simple question right here. You can put in keywords and search that way. We're going to go through each one of these little sections and see what lies under this little, this little name right here. So this is the help center. So you can start by typing in what, what you want to learn about. You can use keywords and click on search or you can go through these different icons, family tree, memory, search, indexing. Notice there's one for DNA testing now, partners, mobile apps, those kinds of things. This is really helpful. So we're going to go ahead and just take a look at basic family tree. So if you look at the family tree help, it provides step-by-step -step instructions for using family tree. And right here you can scroll through many of the different articles on how to how to do different things on family search how to start your tree how to add people how to correct parent child relationships those kinds of things also notice this is the main subject that we're talking about the family tree we're looking at all of the article all of the search results you can also click and change it by articles by lessons and information in the wiki so that is the help center right here always under the help tab you can go ahead and go down to the next one which is getting started you go ahead and click on getting started this is getting started with your family history here are the main things that you need to know as you get started you'll notice there's some videos on the left hand side there's information right in the middle on the family tree and how you use it and there is also this little feature right here that says local help and this will tie to your account if you are a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and um, but also it will also go if you are not a member of the Church of Jesus Christ it will also pull up the closest family history center to you mine my closest family history center is the Pleasant Grove Utah Grove Creek State Family History Center, here's the address, phone number, and also an opportunity for a live chat um, for any information that you may need. You scroll down, you learn lots of information here, and this is how you just get started. Go back to the Help tab, contact us. Have you ever wondered how you could contact somebody that might have answers to your questions? You can find your local help, you can find your local family history center. You can visit the Family History Library in Salt Lake, learn more about that. You can send a message. Do you have a question? You can send a message right here. You can add attachments. You can also authorize the Family Search Support Team to access your account if you need help in that way. You can do a live chat and you can actually also call at any time. I have found that at 3 a.m. a couple of times when I was working on family search, I needed help and I was stuck. And it was 3 a.m. and nobody I knew was up and alive, except on the other side of the world. They were actually down under in Australia at 3 a.m. Got a very nice gentleman who helped me out. It was great. Okay, back to the help tab, back down to the learning center. This is where there are lots and lots and lots of lessons on how to do family history getting started in genealogy getting started in Irish genealogy how about how to trace your Hungarian ancestors how to navigate the family tree there are lots of lessons here in this help center you'll want to use them over and over for different areas of research that you might start researching in or also if you are a 
missionary, a church service missionary, or work in family history centers, this is where you can learn more so that you'll be prepared to help those that come in. Okay, back to the help tab. The community. Community is a great spot for information. This is relatively new, probably the last year plus, but it's been in development quite a while. But this is a community. This is where you can ask your questions. You can browse questions, ask your questions, and also answer questions um, for specific topics. Here are questions. Here are the topics right here. You can answer questions by different languages. You can be a help and a resource to someone else. On the other side is the Find, Create, and Join. This is the Groups feature, and this is where you can join groups that pertain to the areas of family history that you are interested in. You'll notice right here that I have my groups. I'm, I have joined the Pennsylvania group, the Poland Genealogy Research Group, and the Russian Empire Genealogy Research Group. But look at all of these different research groups that you can help. And just as an example, you can, I'll open this one up, and you can see, sometimes they do polls, questions. Here, you can ask your question right here, and you can look at answers. And this is where you can really help and reach out to those that might know of resources, know about resources, or that may want to know about resources that you're very familiar with. You can really help them out in that way. It's a great resource. You'll want to check that out. Okay, so let's go back up to the top, and we're going to go back to, yep, got to go back one more, and one more again. I got a little deep there. Okay, back to the Help tab, and I'm sure that there's other ways to go back and forth. I was just showing you one way, just backing out really quick. Back to the Help. We're going to take a look at Cases. This is where, if you have written any emails to Family Search over the years. This is where they are archived after they've been, after they have been, um, you've been helped. And also current cases. This is one that sits here for me. It's been there for, well, at least three years, probably longer. But here are all of your cases. So if you've ever asked questions, here they are. And they remain right here. So you can go back if you have a question. Okay, back to the help. Research Wiki. For those of you that have watched my other videos, you know that the Research Wiki is probably my top favorite um, resource to use because I love research and I love to help people, but sometimes people come in with questions that I have no idea how to answer. So this is usually my first place where I start. This is where you can put in your place or your topic and you can go to, like, this is going to be my favorite one, of course. We're going to start with Russia and see what they have. And this is what the Family Search Wiki looks like. They all are built on the same platform. You can learn how to get started with Russian research. You can see if there's online records. You can ask the community. This takes you back to research groups. And here are some research tools and on and on. So the wiki is one of my absolute favorites, if not my absolute favorite. Okay, back to the help tab. What's new? Have you ever wondered what's going on with Family Search? What they've been doing lately? This is the Family Search blog, and you can see categories right here. You can search the blog, and you can subscribe to stay informed of all that's going on. This is these are the blog posts for. Um, What's new at Family Search? We always get a new blog post when they post records. Every month they tell us what records have been added um, into the archives of Family Search. We've got new records from the United Kingdom. You can look down many, many, many resources. Add audio to pictures on Family Search. Did you know you can do that? Read this article, it'll help you out. And as you can see right now, there are 44 pages of blog articles, so you won't ever be bored learning new things. Okay, back up to the help. The very last one is the helper resources. This is 
great. This can you can learn about your temple and family history callings. If that if you are a church service missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, or if you are just a regular person helping people, you can add someone to your planner so that you can look at their tree on Family Search and help them kind of direct them on where they can go next. And here are more resources for helping others. This is where you can help one-on-one -on -one with people and this is where you get more information on helping people in general. And then there's also additional resources. But for those of you, if you look down here, we've got some ideas for family history activities, how to personalize experiences, get research and language help, and those kinds of things. So this has been a quick trip through all of the wonderful resources that are available underneath the help tab on FamilySearch.org. And as always, just to end, please visit our homepage to find out more about our one-on-one -on -one help in library classes and library resources. And be sure to subscribe to our BYU Family History YouTube channel for more short family history videos and in-depth webinars. Thanks for watching and have a great day.